Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Still in my bathroom. Hope you don't mind. Beauty room isn't quite ready yet. However, for today's video, I am sharing with you the best setting powder I have ever used. Yes, you heard that correctly the best. I'm also going to show you my under eye setting technique just in depth because I don't think it's anything that we've ever talked about before and just the whole under eye situation a couple of tips and tricks that I give to my clients as well. So the first thing I am going to do is just put on some concealer. I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer in the shade 6W Extra Deep. This is the newest concealer to my collection and you guys, I am loving it. Let me zoom you in. Let's see if I can zoom. How tight can I get? Okay. This has that huge applicator. I'm noticing that is the trend for concealers now, especially ever since the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer came out. And I love the, just the overall look and the appearance of this concealer and how it makes my under eyes look. It has just enough coverage and it's not matte at all. So if you are someone who maybe has drier under eyes, this one is for you, you, you. And of course, not doing a bunch of face makeup because face coverings, acne, acne is still a problem right now. So, yeah. Now, of course, if you're someone who likes a little bit more of that glam look under your eyes, then I don't necessarily think that this concealer will be for you. But if you like more of a your skin but better makeup, no makeup, I think you will like this a lot. All right, so eyes are set now for the powder that i am talking about this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finishing powder in the shade number three dark i was blown away when i used this i not only use this for up under my eyes but all over my face just the overall appearance that this product gives is amazing. So first, let's talk about a couple of things when it comes to under eye because there is under eye preparation that needs to happen before you even start putting on your concealer and definitely powder if you plan on using powder. All right, so y'all know, I always like to start from the inside out. You know, I always like to make sure nutrition and wellness and all that is on point first. So this is more so for people, if you are someone who suffers with just dry under eyes, I am someone that does not have dry under eyes. So therefore my under eye situation may be different from someone that does have drier under eyes. I am oily 365 days of the year. However, once we hit the cooler months, I'm not as oily. That's just because the air isn't as dry. So number one, under eye care preparation, eye cream. I feel like if you're between the ages of 25 and beyond, you need eye cream every morning, every night. I don't care, male, female, you should be using eye cream. Eye cream is going to basically help prep that under eye area, especially if you are someone that suffers from dry under eyes and you wear makeup, you wanna make sure that the area under here is hydrated. It is a very, should I zoom out a little bit? Let's zoom out until we get back into it. Okay, there we go. Um, it is very, very crucial that you have that under eye area just hydrated and prepped because it's sensitive down there. You know, this is a very, very sensitive area. My top three favorite instant natural youthful gel. I love that eye cream. It's more of a gel formula. Like I stated, I'm oily skin, but if you have dry skin, you can use it as well. I love how light it is. Secondly, Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Acid, no Hyaluronic Eye Cream. That's a great one. Third, Ole Henriksen, the Banana Bright Under Eye Cream. Those are my top three recommendations. Now, we've prepped. Let's get into something really quick because I feel like this is key. How's your hydration, okay? I talk to women every day on a regular basis and we are not hydrating. First of all, it's hot as fire outside, okay? Secondly, the majority of women are not hydrating your, their bodies properly, okay? You need to have at least half your body weight in ounces in hydration. That is at least. I personally think you need more than that. However, let's just keep it simple. If you are 100 pounds, you need to be drinking at least 
50 ounces of water a day. Now I'm someone, I go above that, I drink a gallon to a gallon and a half a day. That's just due to bodybuilding and prepping and whatnot, but please make it your due diligence to drink at least half your body weight in ounces in water because that is going to reflect in your skin. We need water just overall in our bodies, but for your skin purposes, a lot of women don't realize that they are dehydrated. And number three, sleep. I am going to do a whole video dedicated on sleep and just how it affects our well-being, our beauty, our skin. Are you getting sleep? Um, again, when we're sleeping, our body is basically hitting the restart button. You're recharging. If you're not getting enough sleep, let's say, okay, you already have dry under eyes. All right. That's one thing to man. And then on top of that, you're not getting enough sleep. So now we've run into, okay, my under eyes are just naturally dry. I didn't get sleep. Now I've got dark circles and puffiness. So instead of working with one thing, now we got three whole things that we're dealing with. Please make sure you are getting your sleep because when you do not get your sleep, it reflects, it will show on the outside. Then we've got to throw on all this concealer that we probably don't really need in the first place. You guys see where I'm going. So that's my little wellness and nutrition spill. Let me show you how I use this powder. Now, the Airbrush Flawless, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, it is not marketed as a under eye powder. So again, Please take this lightly if you do have drier skin. I cannot say exactly how this will settle on you, but for me, I am loving it and here is why. It gives me a eye lift. It blurs and it smooths. I love my mineralized skin finish just simply because it doesn't get cakey. When I did the mineralized skin finish versus the Pat McGrath, a lot of you guys said that you felt the Pat side looked better. For me, I didn't mind the pat side, but I just felt like there wasn't a huge enough difference. And in certain situations, I almost felt like, I don't know, I kind of looked a little bit crepey. This does not give me that. Also, this I've been using to set all over my face because it is good for just, you know, if you have an oily T-zone or whatnot. So please keep that in mind. Again, if you are dry skin, I'm not sure how this powder would work on you. And also, if you do have dry skin, dry under eyes, you probably don't even need to be setting with the powder anyway. That's another conversation. So the best brush for setting up under your eyes is the Real Techniques setting brush. I have a ton of these in my makeup kit that has dust on it because I haven't beat any faces because of COVID, but whatever. Um, I have a ton of these in my kit and also I like this for blending out concealer as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead, tap in. And how I like to set Make sure you always tap off because you don't wanna go in with a ton of powder on that under eye area. And how I like to do it is, I always start in the corner first because this brush is basically made for that. Starting in the corner and then just working my way out. Now notice I'm pressing, I'm doing the stippling motion. I'm not swiping. I don't wanna swipe because I don't wanna have a bunch of product kicking up and I don't want to remove any of that concealer that I'm laying down. So just make sure you are gently pressing again always start on the inner corner and then working my way out now once i get out here you guys see how i'm kind of doing i'm going up in that motion and then once you get on the outside for further more blending that's when you can kind of swipe and i don't even want to say swipe i feel like that's the wrong word because i feel like swiping is just motion we'll say sweep i just sweep up to blend it out now boom this powder is insane. I feel like it just instantly gives me an eye lip. I noticed that this powder definitely does something that my mineralized skin finish does not. And y'all know that's what I usually rock with for up under my eye. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, starting in the inner and working my way out. Now, of course, if you're someone who likes that super, super fleeky, dramatic, bright under eye look, you probably won't like using this because you won't get this. To me, this is just a very natural everyday finish. And that is it, you guys. 
Me personally, on myself and on my clients, I never use loose powder up under the eyes just simply because I feel like it can get really, really cakey really fast. MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, even when I have used that on dry skin, it does not get cakey. This does not get cakey on me as well. So then the next step, what I would do from here is basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this. Now this is just for oil control purposes. Like I said, I don't have on any foundation. So no powder foundation, no liquid. I didn't even spot conceal. I'm just trying to control some of the oil because like I said, I'm wearing a face covering and there's just no point in putting on any foundation, especially when the face covering is making me break out. <laughs> and voila y'all that is it super super simple. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we will close out. All right, y'all, I am back. I have the rest of my little bit of makeup on. I literally just threw on a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. On my eyes, I have on Juvia's Place chocolates. And on the lips, I have on Juvia's Place lipstick and cocoa. Don't worry, this look is the next video. It'll be up on Thursday. So that's basically gonna wrap up today's video. Um, August is going to be a no buy for me. Probably August and September because I have just purchased a lot of things, a lot of things just due to moving. So it's time to scale it back and get, you know, pay attention to what we're doing, be mindful with our money, save. So August and September are gonna be no buys. However, I've got some hauls coming and I want to get back to the basics of makeup when it comes to my makeup content. So that's why today I wanted to do like the under eye setting technique. So if there's any specific technique that you would like to see from me, please let me know down below. Y'all know the deal. I love you. Keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Peace.